Good morning. I'm at the Lakeshore Drive Trailhead uh, Park near the tunnel. This morning I'm going to take the Lakeshore Trail down to Camp 76 where I'm going to spend the night. Tomorrow I'm headed over to Campsite 88. Uh, the next day I'm going to head up uh, the Hazel Creek Trail to Camp 83. Then I'm going to go up and look in, uh, into Bone Valley, I'll backtrack back to Hazel Creek and come up to Campsite 82. Then I'm going to ascend the Hazel Creek Trail to the end and catch the Jonas Creek Trail down to the Forney Creek Trail and stay at Campsite 71. And then my last morning I'll walk out uh, back here to the trailhead and finish the hike. I'm just about to walk through the tunnel here. Day one is all along the Lakeshore Trail, 11.6 miles to Campsite 76. This is the uh, first day of a five night trip. I'll spend the first two days on the Lakeshore Trail, which roughly follows the uh, edge of um, Fontana Lake. It should be some ups and downs, but uh, there's no big hills to climb today. Should be a nice walk in the woods. So I did choose to do this hike in June, it's the last week of June. That gives me heat and bugs at this low altitude, but it also uh, means the stream crossing should be not as deep because the snow runoff is completed. And as long as uh, thunderstorms don't get too bad, I'll be able to uh, get across without too much trouble. There are numerous stream crossings on Hazel Creek. Uh, it's about 85 degrees. It is definitely hot. I've been uh, drinking water all morning But there's been plenty of stream crossing so I hadn't had to carry a lot I'm all set up before the evening pop-up showers. Did 11.6 today from the tunnel to campsite 76. It was a hot buggy day, but it was a good walk. I uh, enjoyed it very much. I'm going to get my camp all squared away, have some dinner, and just sit and watch the sun go down. Good morning, it's about 6.30. I'm going to go ahead and get started on trail today. 
Had a good night last night, it didn't rain. Today's mileage is 13.7 up to Campsite 88. I need to go past Hazel Creek and on to Campsite 88 so that I can connect some steps from a hike I did a few years ago. Just looking over my camp, everything looks good. Well, let's get started. The trail I'm walking this morning um, is an old roadbed. The uh, park was established in the 1930s, but the boundary did not extend to this area at that time. Um, there were families living here up into the 1940s. Then uh, during World War II, when Fontana Dam was built, Families were evacuated from this area. And then after the dam was completed, um, the land was uh, handed over to the park service and incorporated into the park. We should be able to see some remnants of some old homesteads. I just stopped in at Camp 81 and uh, got some water and took a quick break. It has been raining off and on today. Uh, I had to put the cameras away and get under the umbrella for a while. But it seems to have cleared up. There's blue skies up there. We may get another pop-up shower. I'm not sure. From here, I head up over Welch Ridge and then drop down the other side into Hazel Creek. The rain is back, so I'm hiding under my umbrella here. Just getting it done. Well, that was 13.7 miles to Campsite 88. The theme of the day was rain, rain, and more rain. I'm going to get camp set up quick like a bunny in case uh, the storms start again. Let's fade to black. Good morning from day three. I just got... Um, a pack all put together and I'm about to start walking down the trail. Today I'm just heading up to the Bone Valley campsite that's number 83. It's uh, 6.7. The first thing I'm going to do this morning is walk through the old town of Proctor. Most of the buildings were destroyed after the Park Service took over the land uh, during World War II. The Calhoun house remains and then um, there's some various foundations as we move further up the trail. All right, let's get started.
I'm in the last point seven uh, to my campsite. It's just right around the corner up here. It was a beautiful walk this morning um, through the old town of Proctor and then the old town of Medlin uh, up here higher up. Uh, it's occurred to me that I can go into Bone Valley today. I have enough time, but my feet are really wanting to dry out a little bit. Uh, the being wet for three days is giving me some blisters on the bottom, and I probably really should take the afternoon to uh, rehab them a little bit. I've seen a few more people today. I didn't see anybody the last couple days. But today I have seen some fly fishermen. Hazel Creek um, is actually, despite being remote, is actually pretty busy because you can access it uh, by boat from Fontana. So you see some pretty elaborate campsites here and uh, people carrying uh, lots of heavy fly fishing gear. I'm just hiding in my tent from a rainstorm. It's about time for me to get out and um, start dinner. The plan tomorrow morning is to do um, a two mile in, two mile out hike up to um, a cabin inside Bone Valley and then head up the creek, um, Hazel Creek to the next campsite um, total mileage tomorrow is supposed to be about 6.7. Just got finished looking over the campsite. Everything's squared away. It's about 7 a.m. I'm going to head up the Bone Valley Trail and take a look at the hall cabin. It's the most remote historic structure in the park. And that's two miles up and then two miles back. And then I'm going to head up Hazel Creek to the next campsite. That's Camp 82. Total miles today is going to be about 6.7, I think. I'm just walking back down the Bone Valley Trail back towards Hazel Creek. The Hall Cabin was really cool. It was built by the Hall family. And later the um, Crest family of Crest department stores bought the land in this area and they built a getaway house um, where they would come for vacations. So there's a Crest building in uh, crest buildings in various places including Charleston and um, there's one in Asheville I think. I counted five approximately knee-deep water crossings on the way in. It was really neat back there. It's a dead-end trail so once you reach the end you just turn around and walk back out. It's a little creepy back there quite frankly. <laughs>
Well, I'm all set up on my campsite for the night. It's uh, the Calhoun campsite. It's the furthest campsite upstream on Hazel Creek. Hadn't had any rain yet today, just did a short day, just shy of seven miles. Have a really big day tomorrow, so I'm going to get out of my shoes and air out my feet and rehab my blisters a little bit and just enjoy the rest of the day. It's a real nice campsite, beautiful area. Good morning, it's day five. Uh, today I head up Upper Hazel Creek. I'm um, going to top out and then drop back down into the uh, Forney Creek area where I have another night booked uh, at a campsite there. Uh, up to this point, the Hazel Creek Trail has been uh, double track, but as I get higher in elevation, Today, uh, you should see a change in the in the trail. Uh, it'll change to a single track. There are numerous water crossings. Because I'm going upstream, there are they are deeper here and get progressively shallower and easier. So the most deep, the deepest, most difficult crossings I have uh, starting out early this morning, and then as I get higher, it'll be. Uh, the crossing should be a bit shallower, not as swift.
after the Hazel Creek Cascades here, we start to head pretty much straight up uh, to climb Welch Ridge. Well that completes the Hazel Creek Trail. I'm up here on uh, Welch Ridge. I'm going to head down here point seven and catch the Jonas Creek Trail and that's going to take me towards my campsite. There are a few unbridged crossings on this trail, but nothing too difficult. I was originally going to stay here at the Jonas Creek campsite, uh, but they did close it due to bear activity so I've got to move down uh, the creek to the next site which is the CCC site. I've stayed there before, it's, uh, it's got the big chimney. Well, that's going to conclude my day. I'm here at the CCC campsite all set up and just waiting for my dinner to finish rehydrating. Did 12.5 miles from Hazel Creek Camp 82. Uh, finished that trail, went up over Welch Ridge and dropped down the Jonas Creek Trail. And now I'm down on the Forney Creek Trail. Most of the work is completed. Uh, tomorrow I have a five mile exit and that will conclude the hike. So tonight I'm just going to sit here and relax and enjoy my last night of camping. It is 6 a.m. the morning of day six. This is my final morning. I just have a five mile walk to the truck. Here we go.
Well, I'm about to turn on to the Lakeshore Trail, and uh, it's just a couple miles back to the tunnel and to the parking area. And that'll complete this 56-mile, five-night loop. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you down the trail.